Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to cover the RHEL 8 system-wide cryptographic policies and the new update-crypto-policies command. This exciting new feature allows administrators to more easily configure cryptographic settings on the system for TLS, IPsec, DNSSEC, and the Kerberos protocols. RHEL 8 beta includes four cryptographic policies. These policies are listed in Chapter 3 of the RHEL 8 configuration and managing security documentation. The four policies that are included are default, Legacy, Future, and FIPS. Refer to the documentation for full details on these policies, but in summary, the default policy is compatible with the PCI DSS requirements, the legacy policy is less secure than the default policy but ensures maximum compatibility, the future policy is more secure than the default policy, and the FIPS policy is used internally by the FIPS mode setup tool. You can use the new update crypto policies dash dash show command to show the current policy on the system. Which, in, which is default in this example. Next, we're going to run a couple of commands to show the effect that these policies have on a system. In this example, we'll SSH to the server and specify an AES-256 cipher and an HMAC SHA-1 MAC. You can see that we are able to successfully connect with those settings. Now, we'll set the cryptographic policy to the future policy using the update crypto policies dash dash set command and then we'll restart the sshd daemon for the settings to take effect. Then we'll run the exact same command that we ran previously, so we'll specify an AES-256 cipher and an HMAC SHA-1 MAC. You can see that this is now denied that we are using the future policy and we get a no matching MAC error message found because the future policy doesn't allow for SHA-1. Next we'll, get, we'll set the crypto policies back to default. Then we'll look at an example with the Apache web server. We'll start by installing the Apache web server with the M command, and once this is done, we'll go ahead and start the Apache with systemctl. Now we're going to try to pull down a web page using the curl command and specify TLS max 1.1 so that it will use the TLS 1.1 protocol, which is denied by the default crypto policy. As you can see, curl reports back no protocols available. Now we'll try setting the crypto policy to legacy, which does allow for TLS 1.1. And then we'll go ahead and restart Apache with the systemctl command. And then what we're going to do is try the exact same curl command. We'll specify TLS max 1.1 again, just like we did the first time. And when we run this, you'll see that now that we are on the legacy crypto policy, it now allows the web page to be pulled down. Let's look at how this is all working. If we CD into the Etsy crypto policies backends directory and do an ls here, you can see that we have several files that are symbolic links to slash user slash share slash crypto policies and then the name of the policy. If we look at one of these files, like the openssh server.config, you can see that it has several SSHD configuration options referring to ciphers and Macs. Next, we'll look at the krb5.config file and again, you can see it has settings here related to the crypto settings for Kerberos. Let's look under the slash user slash share slash crypto policies, which is where all these symbolic links are pointing to. You can see that there's a directory for each of the policies, default, FIPS, future, and legacy. If we look in the future directory, you can see it has configuration files for this policy level and the same with the legacy directory. We'll go ahead and run update crypto policies to show that we are currently using the legacy policy. And if we do an ls-al, we can see that all these uh, files are symbolic links pointing to the legacy directory. If we update our crypto policy to the default crypto policy and run ls-al again, we can see that it has changed these symbolic links that were now pointing to the default policy configuration files. We're going to go ahead and look at a couple examples of how these configuration files get applied to applications in RHEL 8. Let's start with Kerberos 5. If we look under the slash etsy slash curb5.comp.d, there's a crypto policies file that is a symbolic link to etsy crypto policies backends krb5.config. And you can see up above here that the krb5.config file is itself a symbolic link to slash user slash share slash crypto policies slash default slash krb5.txt. Through these series of symbolic links, whichever crypto policy we have enabled on the system will be applied into the Kerberos 5 configuration. 
Next, we'll look at how the crypto policies affect the SSHD configuration. If we cat the OpenSSH server.config, you can see we have a bunch of SSHD configuration options here in here related to ciphers, Macs, etc. If we do a systemctl show SSHD and we grep for environment files and exec start, we can see how SSHD is managed with the systemctl subsystem. You can see that we have an environment file here set to slash etsy slash crypto policies slash backends slash open ssh server dot config, which is the file that we just looked at, and which is a, a symbolic link into whichever policy we have enabled on the system. You can see that this file is setting the crypto policy variable and that the sshd exec start passes that crypto policy variable in whenever sshd is started. That's how these configuration options are getting applied into your SSH daemon when it started with systemctl. Now let's look at the sshd underscore config file. You'll notice that there's a comment in here saying that the system is following the system-wide crypto policy and that if you make changes in this file to ciphers, max, and a couple of other settings that they will not have any effect because they are overridden by the system-wide crypto policy and it also has information how you can opt out by changing the slash etsy slash sysconfig slash sshd if you don't want to use the system-wide crypto policy for sshd. Next, let's look at how the Apache SSL configuration works with the system-wide crypto policy. We'll start by catting the slash httpd comp.d ssl.comp file and we'll grab for cipher suite. You can see that the cipher suite is set to profile equal system. If we do a man on the open ssl ciphers and search for profile, you can see that it says that profile equals system means that the system will load the cipher suites from the system-wide crypto policy defined in the slash etsy slash crypto policy slash backends slash openssl.config file, which is a symbolic link to whichever crypto policy is currently active on the system. As you've seen in these examples, we've been able to change the cryptographic settings for SSHD and Apache, not by editing these application configuration files directly, but instead by using the update crypto policies command to set the system-wide cryptographic policy on the system. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you get a chance to try out RHEL 8 beta and system-wide cryptographic policies, and I hope you have a great day today.